We are live. Uh, we are live. Hello, Norman. We are live. Uh, I'm the only one with audio. I'm the only one that can create audio. Uh, Booby, please figure out, get your life together. Is it Booby, together say, now? It Well, it's relatively together. Say something again less aggressively so I can actually hear you. Is it together now? Do you know what it actually is? <laughs> I know. I, I, I figured something in the in the uh, setting. Oh, good for you, darling. Oh, darling. Anyway, um, Sebastian, hello. Oh, Bash, what's up, yo? What? Um, so yo, um, Desperado, pop and pussy, yeah. Oh, Monte Carlo, yeah. Take it easy. Um, hey. So, oh, wait a minute. There's a text coming in. What? What, <laughs> what is it, booby? I don't know. Let me see. It says, comp issues. Working on it. From who? By... I wonder who he oh, I no. wonder who Well, he... I can identify, but but mine, mine is... For, for mines? Unrelated. Did you say mines? Mines is completely unrelated because I'm at work. And some some stranger's house, and unfortunately, I don't have a laptop, so I'm using my. That's the life of a prostitute, honey. Desperado. Ferretto. Pop and pussy, you know. Oh, Monte Carlo. <laughs> Take oh, it easy. You know oh, that. Olivia. Anyway, so while we are here waiting for, I don't know, someone to get their computer issues together, um, and for you know for other people to filter in and things, I can see a couple of folks in the comments, and I see a couple more in little. Booby, you can't see this, but I think I can. The little eyeball icon that tells me there are people in the room, but they're being quiet. That's okay. Um, ah. Booby, how, how are you, Booby? I am exhausted, um, but alive. Great story. Should we yeah. um, answer? Should we answer Anthony's texts? What? Yeah, okay. I guess we should. Take your time. Just hurry up, right? You're exhausted, but you're alive. But I'm alive, born, born. Born to Born. be alive. For real. Honey. So I'm gonna tell, what should I say to Matinga? Tell Miss um, Matinga that, honey, oh, wow, there's a diss. Forever Phoenix, whoever that is, says fascinating stuff so far, which would be a diss if she had spelled fascinating right. Check yourself, F fascinating. girl. Fascinating. Thank you for being Work a fan. Forever. Thank you for being a fan, <laughs> darling. Thank you, darling. Mm. Mm -hmm. Desperado, Papa How was your name, Oh, Monte Carlo. Me? Yeah. The box? Give up the box? I'll see myself out. Uh, bye. <laughs> 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 My day was shit. No, that isn't true. That mm -hmm. is not true. Did 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 someone come home? Someone did come home. So I haven't announced this to to the wider world, but my kitty cat had to have a little treatment that involved her staying overnight in the hospital. She's fine uh, for a few days. It was a very simple thing. It wasn't a surgery, nothing like that. Uh, it's the first time I've been apart from her for this length of time, probably ever uh, since I've had her. She's fine. She came home this morning. Yes, yes, cutie pie. Uh, it wasn't major. It wasn't major. She had to have a little injection thing, but they had to observe her for a couple of nights. Oh! Oh my God! You need to be observed for a couple of nights, Desperado, Papa and Pussy, Anna. Oh, What's that Monte Carlo, Rihanna, darling. Oh, of course. I don't know anything about these young young bitches. The song is fifteen years old. Oh, anyway, I don't. Okay. I don't listen to her. So this is what happened. So, uh, since you're in the room, Debs, you're gonna hear this first. Oh, wait. Oh, there's someone, Debbie. I'll I'll text you later. Everything's fine. She's home. Perfect, perfect outcome. Okay, let me let this cunt into the room. Hey, hey. Before I do that, Language. Matinga, can you hear us? She can. I saw her say she can. And okay. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. A new year begins. Begins. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I, I was having connectivity issues, sorry. I did, to be fair, I did too. 
And Mr. Diamond's not having it, but you know what? I'm not having it both of y'all. Oh my! I was about to. I was, about to, I was about to try and do this on my phone. I was like, "Ooh, we're gonna have to do this on the phone." And that yeah, makes up like, from it. Yeah. And my phone, my but my phone does not have touch up your appearance button on it. So I was. Oh to no! So I'm glad I got this to work. Also, my my uh, my mic is not attached right at the second because um, and booby disappears. I hate. The two of you. Go ahead. Go on, <laughs> uh, uh, because this this room has an intense echo, and it would it just it. Yeah. It, wait it a before. minute. We're we gonna back. Oh no 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 no. You know I love you both, but we're gonna back this up for a hot second. Audience, okay. hold your horses. Hold your horses, people. So we had filmed an episode of Homework that is yet to come out, and we did it about two weeks ago. Yes. And for various reasons. One of you didn't have your microphone. Okay. And I just want to say that and audio, that audio track was really rough and it made editing a living hell for me. So I know there's like an echo, but if you would just plug the microphone in, I think it'll just pick up better and be easier to edit for me. Sure, sure. But just for clarity's sake, because because your tone is is rather high at the moment. Um, the last time I we did this and I and I plugged in the microphone, you were like, yeah. "No, there's too much of an echo." So uh -huh. you told me to stop. So now I will once okay. again plug the thing back in. But the reason I took it off was because you told me there was okay. too much. And you know, just to stay high tone for a second. Yes. You're being very high tone. The reason, <laughs> the reason that you didn't use your microphone for that homework was because you forgot to bring it with you to John's. But that's. But I, I'm not. Talking and you about also the said there was an echo in the room. I'm talking about the, the before. Before Booby, you got a crackle in your or audio. Miss, okay, listen. However, Miss John's apartment also has very, very high. The ceilings. both of you are trying to kill me. And I was taking care of his special needs dog. That's incredibly special. His name is Michael, and he's a good friend. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, you mean <laughs> Jasper? Oh. So you know, but still made it work. Uh, so, uh, right, but if you see. like, if you like, by the way, I just want to say hello to all the beautiful people in the room. Uh, including Miss Coconut. <laughs> and uh, do you want me to go get the mic? Yes. And also, Miss <laughs> Matenga, you're frozen. Matenga, you're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is doomed. I'll be back. It's on fire. Don't you know what? It. I'm going to remove her. And then she, when she comes back, look at her frozen. Oh, oh. I, I, by the way, oh, I did not remove her. She did it herself. Her. No, I Ooh. didn't do it. Hi, Donna. Booby, there's a crackle yeah. on your audio. Stop Booby. saying that. For real? Yeah. Audience, I'm going to ask you guys. Do you hear a crackle in Booby's audio? Booby, speak uninterrupted for 10 seconds. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, do, re me, do re me so fa so latido. I'm hearing a fierce crackle. Yes, yes. We got two yeses. Girl, your audio. No. Fine. Desperado. I don't know what this to, to do. Pussy crackling in a old Monte Carlo. Um, yeah, well, I don't know, girl. Maybe, you know what? Maybe try it on your phone. I don't know what to say at this point. How many <gasps> years we've been doing this? The two of you trying to fucking kill me. You're hold trying up, to kill me. Hold up. Oh, trust me, Forever Phoenix. He is not on fire. Girl. Yes, there's some type of distortion. Honey, I'm going to boot you both out the room and do this my damn self. And that, well, okay. Well, then I guess that decides that. Hello. Welcome to Mike Diamond tonight, starring me, Sha Diamond. <laughs> How is everyone doing tonight? So, I just flew in from Cleveland, and boy, are my arms tired. There's Booby. Ah, oh, God damn it. This is a disaster. Disaster. So, Monty Way. So, Monty Way. Welcome so to what are we doing today, anyway? Desperado. <laughs> what are we doing? Pop and pussy, you know. Oh, Monte Carlo. I mean, somebody's, so somebody's pussy needs to pop and it needs to pop now. Pop. Something needs to pop, girl, because we've been here for like three hours. This is Shadiman. This is Miss Matinga. And this is Booby. Welcome to the latest, newest, freshest edition of So Auntie Ways. Hello. Hello, Hello. everyone. How are you bitches doing? 
hanging out, hanging in there. Awake, awake. Oh, considering wait. you this know, is a, this is a thing. late, a late night shoot where yeah, we're having a late night shoot today. Yeah, very late night. It's like I decided to wear a special T-shirt for you guys. I'm wearing my Dolly T-shirt. Oh, 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 that's so genius. I want to look pretty for everyone. Oh, and, that's and I and it? I can't. And if you see me staring aimlessly at my face, it's because I look so fucking handsome. I can't take it. Is there another <laughs> way to stare at your face? I'm sorry. Wait, what? So Is it way. all over my face? Yeah, Usually. I just I can't help it. I'm looking yeah. so damn good. You know what? Yeah. You look great. You look healthy. You look alive. You look fresh. I love the t-shirt, booby. The hat's rocking. The angle, not so much. Oh, and here we are. And we angle. are going to just, we're just going to entertain and carry on. And Miss um, Booby, you're on your phone, aren't you? I am. You know, it's been a, it's been a hellish day. Slash, well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> this Why? is just the cream of the cream on top of my cake. Um, uh, cake, you know, I made I baked a cake this morning. Just dump and bake for the best cakes ever. Before um, some a special event that was happening this evening, but needless to say, I'm not in my home where my computer is at, where I have complete control over the lighting and all that good stuff. You mean like what was uh, happening to me during the last shoot, where I wasn't in my home and I didn't exactly have the lighting or having a mic or that, you know? But we're I am put the you some slack, boo, week. because you know what? We're sisters. That's what we do. We are Thank sisters, you. and because we're sisters, we do things like make sure our sisters have ring lights and microphones. <laughs> okay, which hopefully yeah. they can bring with them. <laughs> I, don't make me laugh. It gives me a migraine. Just dump syrup, sugar, cinnamon, and nuts in a pan, and then just layer in some biscuits. I baked the cake. I'm at this house. I'm not home, so I don't have the control of all that stuff. I've got this foster kitten that I'm taking with me all the yes. time. Every three, four hours, i got to feed her. Aww. So Aww. there's a lot happening. But I must say the lighting is so cute. You look really, really good. You look great. Kudos to you. You baked a cake. Does that lead into what you're featuring this week? Yes. I am featuring my nine-year anniversary of, of sobriety. Yeah. Yay. Yay. That this mess cheers, of a sweetie, Puerto cheers. Rican. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. But seriously, I Hi, mean, cheers. did you get, do you get like a chit? Like, don't you get yeah, like I got a chit, a, like a yearly chit? Can we see it? Desperado. Desperado. Let's see if I can help. Is it chocolate? That's lovely. That's oh, lovely. Oh wow! It and looks do you like have? You Illuminati must have thing. nine. Do you have yes. nine of them now? Yes. Can you do that thing where you know how like you put like a bunch of like quarters on your um on your arm? This was last you year. Them? <laughs> this was last year's. It was really. Oh, that's fancy. a pretty one. That one's a yeah. pretty one. It reminds me that, of Star Trek. Why is that? Yeah. One, why is that one so pretty and colorful? Um, you know, every once in a while, somebody will spend money on, on a really nice one. I think Bob got me that one last year. Oh, well, well but that's what Bob yeah. said when he first saw Booby at the club. He was like, "Why is that one so pretty and colorful?" I think I'm gonna, right. I think I'm gonna make <laughs> my wife. I mean, she's all shiny. Yeah, yeah. She's really strong. She's so shiny. Well, congratulations, Booby. We're very proud of you. Thank you, Myrna. Thank you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, we are absolutely. I just smoked a doobie right before camera, but um, ah. no, 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 no. Of course not. Of course Cheers, not. I mean, lady. not not right before, but we right. are proud of you. We are proud that's, of you, and, and well, you better work, Ms. Boo. That's very now, powerful. Does that mean that you had to bake your own cake for the event? No, that you know, that I was celebrating with someone who was getting one year, and this other someone is actually becoming a really good friend. And so I always traditionally will bake whatever that one year, the person with one year is celebrating. I ask them what's their favorite flavor, and then I'll make it. I've had people ask for a wedding cake, and I've made it. You I made work. a bleeding armadillo velvet, red velvet cake for once. Whatever they want, I'll make it. You know, well, it's, it's a well, lot you, of fun. You're a and... cooking bitch, that's for sure. I'm, that's right, from scratch, you are. darling. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Honey. Honey, you made me some, like, some turtle things when you when we were at your house. Some <laughs> turtle cookies. Yes, yes, because you me know. out. I had I had to kill these Galapagos turtles, like, to get that meat, girl. Mm. <laughs> We've all had to kill to get meat, honey. Let's not be. I mean, look at you. Matinga, what are you featuring this week? <laughs> uh, so this week, um, hold on. What was I featuring? Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> why, don't you go, why don't you go first? Because I've got notes. Well, mine's kind of a double header. So I'll, let me just dive in. Yeah. It's a two for one, but they're, but they're related. So 
I was on the number three train, which is the part of the New York City subway system. My driver was unavailable, immigration, something. I don't know. I didn't care to ask, actually. Anyway, so I was on the subway. <laughs> and um, you know how you can get irritated by things on the subway or anywhere in life? Well, I decided to turn a negative into a positive and something that would annoy me, I decided to make it work for me. So you know how there's all these motherfuckers on the train selling candy and they're always walking around with a baby strapped to the back? Yes. <laughs> You've seen them? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I decided, hmm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Sometimes you just baby. want a piece of candy. You hand them $5 and they hand you the baby. I'm going to eat oh, the honey, baby. What the fuck? So I got the M&Ms and then that person left. And then I'm sitting there thinking, mm, okay, I got my sugar. And- I see this woman sitting down and she had a stroller with a little toddler in it, which normally would annoy me because you're taking up so much goddamn room. Either stay home or pay for an Uber. Get out of the way. But then I was really looking at this kid, this cute little toddler, adorable, little chubby cheeks. And I had that thought, could I harvest the collagen and fat from that kid's face and inject it directly into mine? I don't know if it's medically possible, but I was inspired and I'm going to find out. So I turned a negative into a positive. I got my candy. I got my candy and I got inspiration for perhaps a new beauty treatment. I mean, the skin was flawless. So plump, no pores. I want it. That's Matenga, you ready? Uh, I'm just, I'm just a gag. Uh, <laughs> that, actually, uh, I'm a little bit a gag. By the way, that uh, but you know today. that like, can't you do that with placenta? Don't they do that with with mother's placenta? Not just placenta. You can also do it from. Uh, they harvest stem cells from freshly right. cut foreskin skin from babies yes. that are what? Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. That's not yeah. America. There's right? actually this is yeah. not bullshit. There is there is a semen facial that's been around for a couple years. Oh, honey, it's I a real. It really is a real semen facial, but it's, it's not just, semen. No, they take the stem cells out of foreskin. Right, that's a horse's foreskin. Right, that's what they do. But they call it the the semen facial. It's not just some guy coming on your face because Lord knows right. I'd, I'd have the skin of a baby. But in a way, but in a ah. way, very telling. Uh, but in a way. Yeah. Um, so no, but that's real though with the the stem cell from foreskin. And I really caught on to it late, and I spent like twenty years just getting slapped real hard with uncut dicks. Not yeah. the same thing. Different. I mean, it, looks like it just looks so young. So what are you <laughs> featuring this man, Dingo? Tell us. Um, this week, I, I don't have something that I'm not featuring because I'm actually having a good week. And what I'm featuring is this week is my new favorite singer. He is a Portuguese gentleman and he sings in Portuguese as well. But I think if you love music, you still would enjoy his music. He's kind of a pop singer. His name is Fernando Daniel. My God, my, my face is so still. It could be a picture. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Very but um, <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I, I don't know how to unfreeze my face. <laughs> I'll tell you what, girl. But uh, go on. Say his name one more time. Okay, so he is a Portuguese <laughs> singer. His name is Fernando Daniel. And Fernando no Daniel, kid, go out of the room and come back in. Okay, I'm going to go out and come back you. in. And I'll be, uh, but every time I go out, my camera stops working. So it's going to take me a second. Oh, shut off your camera and turn it back on. You're in yes. the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay. Fernando Daniel. Well, thank you, Matinga. Let's take a, a look and a listen to Fernando <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> wow. What no, a I night. I don't speak Portuguese, but that song was amazing. Was that his number one song? You know, I think it was. Thank you, Matinga. Interesting. Wow. Why don't you take a break and we'll just keep carrying <laughs> on here. <laughs> well, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in to what will certainly be the last episode of anything we ever do. Oh, ever. my God. <laughs> ever. <laughs> hey, you um, know what? Yeah, girl. All the wonderful shows that, that you guys have done, because I I came in later. There's bound to be I a night like brought this. brought us down. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Yeah, it's happening tonight. Go on, girl. Um, listen, um, you know, it's the modern world we live in. Technology. <laughs> I'm going to have to find a way to slice all this out. Pretend it never happened. Has right. anyone noticed I'm wearing two different 
colors in the front of my face here. Absolutely. My blonde ambition and my cinnamon twist. My cinnamon <laughs> twist. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So, um, circling back to my cat. <laughs> How about them dolphins? <laughs> How about them? Oh, do you know what happened to me? I was walking up um, 34th Street, which is across from Madison Square Garden. And, you know, there's, um, I guess, a hockey team called the New York Rangers. Okay. And uh, I'm walking up 34th Street. And there were all these people with New York Rangers, like signs and pictures and things, standing outside, these kids. And a hockey player came out in a long, beautiful camel hair trench coat with a police escort. There she is. And the clearly, they were, clearly they were waiting for this dude's autograph. I don't know who he was, but he was a tall hockey player. He was kind of hot, a New York Ranger. And I noticed he didn't sign any autographs. Wow. So Fernando Daniel. Wow. Beautiful song. And and no shit, I think he looks. If you if you take it, if you if you search him, I think he looks like a hot Adam Sandler, but he really yeah. looks a lot like Adam yeah. Sandler. But like if Sad Adam Sandler were just like kind of just sort of hot with a big butt. Mm. Um, but anyway, I'm what? a big butt, bitch. I am learning like songs in Portuguese. Like this dude can fucking sing. Like he's so Fernando good. Daniel. He's my obsession, Fernando Daniel, and he actually Fernando has a really famous. Famous, famous clip on YouTube of him singing an Adele song. Oh my God, he does look like a hot Adam Sandler. Doesn't he look like a hot Adam Sandler? Do you know that Adam Sandler was the highest paid person in showbiz last year? Yeah. What? Those Somehow. Deals with Netflix, those deals with Netflix. How? Those I've actually personally never seen him in anything other than when he was on Saturday Night Live. I've never seen him in anything. I have watched those two movies where he, where it's the murder mystery movies that he does with Jennifer Aniston. So he's and they're clearly pop. They're silly fun. Yeah. Silly fun. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So, but anyway, if you're into world music, get into Fernando Daniel people. We're going to get into Fernando Daniel, the Miss, Adam uh, Sandler of Portugal with a big butt. Yes. And Miss Booby, uh, someone you're crushing on, something you're obsessed with. Well, we're not up to that. We're up to what we're not feeling. Destroy. Oh, what yeah. am I not feeling? I, you know what? This week, I don't have anything that I'm not feeling. Yeah, too I, didn't much have anything. I, don't feel right I could now. have tried to make something <laughs> up, but I just didn't have something I wasn't feeling. I'm having a good week. Well, let me tell you what I'm not feeling. Bring it. Ah, uh, girl. You ain't feeling it. either one of us. No, particularly not. That's for sure. I had to have, I don't know if any, uh, anyone out there has ever had this, something <laughs> called an epidural. Oh. Yeah. So I've been having like some back problems and whatever. I won't get into it. And I thought, and he's like, okay, well, come get this epidural shot on your spine. I said, okay. And okay. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, bloop, out the door. Oh, no. Oh, no, darling. So for the, well, not for the first time that week, but I was face down on a table. And <laughs> they're like, they're watching it like on an x-ray. And he goes, okay, I'm going to put the, you know, alcohol thing, the bed of dime, whatever. And then he goes, little pinch, little pressure. That's the anesthesia going in, the anesthetic. <laughs> Bitch, that shit hurt. And he had to do it in three spots. And then he takes another fucking needle and he's like, here comes the contrast dye. To try. Yeah. It was so painful. It was so painful. Did that you I cry? Got, I didn't cry, but I got nauseous and sweaty and overheated and dehydrated. I sweated so much. My hands sweated through the paper, like on the, the little table there. And then I heard someone say, he's going pre which means when you're about to pass out. Honey, someone, they're taking my blood pressure, a pulse ox. This other bitch is this male nurse. So cute, tattoos, big arms, wheeling in oxygen. Because I'm like drifting away there, drifting away. Yeah. And the Ooh. doctor's like, <laughs> doctor's like, no, no, hold off on the oxygen. Let's see if he comes around. I could hear them. I came back around. They didn't have to give me the oxygen. But I remembered later that when I was kind of like slipping away there, that nurse with the oxygen, he put his finger in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that all's well that ends well. Desperado. Puts well, you know, ironically, you, when you're saying this, like yeah. when, when animals in the barnyard almost pass out, they either give them a sugar cube or they stick a finger up their butt. So you're in the same league, honey. You're comparing well, me to a barnyard. Lord animal. knows that when I, when I was at the club and y'all wanted me to really carry with the Vogue, you would you'd stuff a, a sugar cube in my mouth and a finger in my butt, and I would be off oh. <laughs> and give you an Girl. epidural. <laughs> no, honey. But Get you know her in the spine. Sounds like? <laughs> it sounds like a lumbar puncture. I've had a couple of those, and they're nasty. It yeah. was nasty. Also, Don't they give that to pregnant people? Well, listen, darling. Fingers crossed. 
what but you didn't have only. an editorial what what you had was a you had like a lumbar like no, it was injection ep- for pain for it like was a, epidural like a, they, they no they it was an epidural because the it was contrast and then uh steroid Yes, in and the, the steroid. Yeah. Oh. And so how do you feel now? Like, did the steroid help? Because I that's that steroid shot can help. It, I know people who've taken it. I mean, I feel okay. It takes a it maximum impact is like 14 days out. You don't feel right. like anything for a few days. I feel okay. I feel fine. I feel fine. But I was like, but you, you know felt what? like shit before, so maybe you feel a little better. I felt like shit before, and then after I was like, honey, I am not going to work after this as planned. I'm going home. Mm. Which I did. Well, good, so, honey. You, you work like like a maniac anyway, currently. Especially so last long. week, I went berserk with it. So anyway, that's what I'm not featuring. But let's talk about something fantastic, like who do we think is hot? He's from Europe. He is a fitness uh, kind of blogger um, named Arnie. I can't pronounce his name, full name, but he's so sweet. And when I say that, he, you know, he, he loves taking... Um, questions from people about fitness and he does this little dance uh, that's not necessarily meant to be sexual but it's like he, he practices the latest dances over there um, that would be like uh, their version of stanky leg or you know uh, stanky leg. <laughs> the, the stanky world. leg yeah he looks like he'd be taking a big dick in the booty too sometimes and this man doesn't have a name Arnie well, he... A-N-R uh, I'll spell it for you hold on He's very cute. Matenga, you're froze again, girl. Pop out, pop in, and Booby's gone. <sighs> uh, and leaving you all alone in this uh, room. Van did something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Next time, I am doing this on my phone, honey. Burrito. <laughs> Although, you know, it's not like my face moves very much with all the Botox. I could just... Did I do. You know what, girl? You do what's right for you, honey. You do what's right for you. All right. Well, listen, I'll be right back. Okay. okay take your time. Take your time, but hurry up. Uh, <laughs> we'll take this moment to address one of the questions from a patron in the, in the live stream there. Forever huh? Phoenix says, I feel like I'm tripping. Girl, you ain't tripping. Trip this on. really happened. This is ha- trip on in the in kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> so yes, just, just so that people know what I'm talking about, uh, our patrons and uh, what not have access to the live recording of this. This is live. That's why it's messy because, of course, why wouldn't it be? Uh, okay. She's it's back. Not she's back. What's up, Don't Mama? you threaten me. Who hey. Was, how did you know I was threatening you off camera? Like, <laughs> you fucking bitches, man. I Wait might leave all hi. of this in. Hi. So, Tingles, you want to talk about who you're feeling? Oh, yes. So my crush this week, literally, I just came across this picture on X, formerly Twitter, and I read the article and I was like, wow, something I did not know. So Errol Flynn, the uh, great matinee movie idol from the 20s and 30s, he had a son named Sean, a gorgeous guy who grew up to be a journalist and who disappeared in Cambodia in 1970. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's isn't he beautiful? And he looks like his beautiful. dad, except he was a blonde. And so he's my crush. It was like, wow, what a gorgeous guy. It was, it was absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know me. If like For me, it's got to be like the 50s. Uh, this week, not even for my crush, I think I sent you guys a picture of Cary Grant from like 1913. Yeah. Uh, when, when he was like 14 years old. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, look at this. Doesn't he look good? Yeah. So like for me, like I love the matinee idols. Like that's that's my thing. Yeah. I'm I'm guessing that um his son was a sailor or something? A journalist. A journalist. Yeah, okay. he covered like he was a war journalist. Oh a wow. war correspondent. And shirtless, a shirtless journalist. I'm here for it. Yeah. For yeah. real. Wow. Yeah, he's he's a foxy one, that's for sure. Isn't he cute. Very cute. Very cute. Well, I guess I'll get to my um Crush, as it were. Um, So I decided to go with someone maybe a little unexpected because I've decided that what's most important to me is um, what's on the inside. You know, what's on the inside. And uh, Mm -hmm. that's why I fist people. Hey. Okay. True. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. Wow. Why is my screen keep disappearing? Um, so I decided that what's important is on the inside, and I selected someone who really has done a lot for I don't know what's happening. I hate all of you. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Listen. Sorry, go, go ahead. This, look, go ahead. this is I'm how sorry. we do. Honey. Yeah, it's for real. For how real. We do. Look, I'm gonna see it on the playback. If it's something <laughs> disturbing, tell me. No, no, it's no. just uh it's just uh, the silliness of it all. <sighs> The wackiness of this evening is just oh, fantastic. You can't pay it's, for this it's wacky, 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 wacky. <laughs> but right. honey, you let, that's why we just roll with it, girl. We just yeah, honey, we roll with it. it. So anyway, as I was saying, what counts to me is from the inside. So the person I am feeling is the legendary, the legend, the icon, and he is the moment, Mahatma Gandhi. Oh. Mahatma Gandhi, darling. Oh, goodness. Okay, me, Okay, and for, for many, many reasons. You know, of course, he was a great leader of, of India and for Indian, Indian independence. Um, he <laughs> put the right hot in Mahatma. Yes, he <laughs> most certainly did. And um, he put the dang in Mohandas. He did. He made diapers fashionable <laughs> for adults. So, Matenga, you have him to thank. What did he do? Right. What did he do? He made diapers fashionable for adults. Uh, hello. Thank goodness, too, because um, we're all just we're about all, there. You know, Where would we be? So, you know, he may be uh, Gandhi in the wind at this point. The man passed away. But that is my crush of the week. The legend, the icon, the moment. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah! Well, work. That's lovely. Unexpected, yeah. darling. Unexpected. I yeah, judge really. a person for their good deeds, for their good acts, for their soul, and for what they contribute to the world. Right. Yes. That's so you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that brings us to the part of the show we like to call Just the Fact. Remember that episode of Facts of Life when Mrs. Garrett got caught stealing? Yes, that's right. And yes, that's, bringing it back. And that's the part of the show where we review a classic episode of the classic sitcom, The Facts of Life. And this week, we're going to review season four, episode 17, 17. Uh, the episode entitled Let's Partay. It was Let's directed by partay. Asad Kalada. Asad Ooh. Kalada. He was Asad friends with, with Gandhi. What? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mahatma ah. Gandhi. Dion Gandhi, the ballroom queen. Yes, honey, <laughs> Dion Gandhi, darling. Dion um, Gandhi Balasiaga. Category oh, yes, is honey. hurry in a hurry. That's what I'm trying to say. Die for um, realness. You know yes. um, how um, it, on the east side in Murray Hill, there's all those Indian restaurants. Do you know they call that Curry Hill? Bitch! I think we're going to give about 12 minutes to this recap because it's, that's good. all like i think that's the next we one we should we should cover is is a magnificent obsession because that episode actually made me laugh oh okay <laughs> then that will be next <laughs> next that will be next, next. So, but this tired episode i mean this classic episode of, it's a 2d uh, episode it's a 2d episode and There's as you a lot know, of sweaters in a uh, 2d episodes 2d has to have a moment where she acts irrational yells and you want to smack her and she yells at Mrs. Garrett. And she yells at Mrs. Garrett. So in this episode, her brother, Marshall, who's never been mentioned before, is coming awesome. to visit the girls at the Eastland Academy. She's obsessed with her brother. She loves her brother so much. I will say she loves a sweater set, but that very first sweater she's wearing during the episode with the little blue pussy bow, so cute. On is Ms. that Tootie. the sweater with the? Is that that's not the same sweater as like the with the blue stripes? A it's yeah, thing. it's blue it with the, the white stripes one. and like the blue was, pussy bow. It's so cute. It was giving me that blueberry girl from Willy Wonka. That's a lot because you know me, I, I love a sweater set. Like I love a cute little sweater set. You yeah. know me. They're very so you know, that's cute. sweaters. Yeah. So Tootie's brother is uh, some actor. Uh, the character I ain't never seen him before. I never saw before. And the character's name is Marshall. And he is with his frat brothers on their way to a ski trip in Vermont. But first they're stopping off to hang out with the Eastland girls, particularly the, you know, Marshall wants to see Tootie. Her and Natalie are outside waiting in the cold because they don't want to miss him. But it's like you could also wait inside, honey. He knows where the door is. Like, and Natalie has Tootie. a crush on him, doesn't she? She does. Yes. Honey. I always scream when I see Marshall. She wants a little bit but of that. You know, but honey, daughter. you know how those, how those, how those, you know, lonely white girls love the black meat. Okay. Yep. Those, I say this those, from those experience. Chubby yeah. Jewish girls. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so Earth Jewish girls are easy. 
They are so, so easy. And also, the B plot is that Joe is growing vegetables in a solar greenhouse. She's growing bok choy. And proud bok of them, damn veggie. Guess what we just dug up out of our solar greenhouse? Your face? <laughs> it's a bok choy. Chinese cabbage. Well, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> Yes. She is. She's into it. She's into it. Blair is there being Blair and Mrs. Garrett is there. So Marshall shows up. They're, all the girls are getting moist about They're it. They're living. Ex except Joe. And uh, Although she, st she and Blair. seems to like him. She's friendly. She's Joe. Mrs. Garrett, you look wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you, Marshall. <laughs> hey, Marsh, want to see my bok choy? But, his you friend know, is cute, though. He is cute. adorable. Yeah. What's his name? Yes. What was his name? His name is Let's Paul, but him. the actor's name is like Michael Harrington. Ooh, oh, Michael God. Harrington. Yeah, cute. He was he was definitely hot. He was also a composer and continued acting. And in 2001, appeared on an episode of a British show called The Guardian, which is like a CSI kind of thing. Oh wow! Playing, I couldn't find a picture, but he was playing a character named Mona the Drag Queen. Oh my God! So that took a turn. Yeah, based on Mindy, based on Mindy <laughs> Cohn, almost assuredly. Based on Mindy Cohn. But he's very cute in that early 80s yuppie way. Yeah. yeah. So out of nowhere, so they're going to stay for dinner. But then out of nowhere, Marshall invites the girls to like a college frat party that they're all having at this motel. The lamest party ever The held. lamest party ever. But it's the first time that uh, Marshall has invited Tootie to like a grown up party. So the girls are all excited. So they go to this like seedy ass hotel motel room. It's beer, beer, beer. They're they're playing pizza, pizza and beer, and they're playing beer drinking Ugh. games. And all his Lots friends are gross. And there's uh, a girl like in a denim prairie dress. It's yeah, horrible, and the, terrible. And the energy is just kind of like, sort of like, honey, Stupid. I've been to college parties. Like, you know, this this college party's not happening. But I do want yeah. to point out, it is said that uh, the girls, Tootie, Blair, Natalie, presumably, are drinking diet root beer. They're not boozing. Right. The girls are not boozing. My first college drinking game. Uh, is it okay if I play with diet root beer? <laughs> but everyone else is super, super boozing. And I actually, I, I actually, wrote it down. They're drinking beer and playing drinking games. Kamikaze and, and, something. And Marshall is clearly getting drunk. But Miss Tootie has such hero worship for her brother, such, you know, that she can't see the forest for the trees. Mm -hmm. Right. And he's getting sloppy and <clears throat> it's the energy's turning a little sour, a little ugly. And, and then, then Joe shows walks up. In. And then oh, Joe shows up. Paul comes out of the bathroom as Mona the drag queen, and then the party gets jumping. And then it For got real. jumping, honey. Terrible! When Joe walks in, they're in the midst of that kamikaze. Of a drinking game. Where every time Joe asks a question, everybody's got to chug. Any pizza left? That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Joe, we're just in a good mood. Uh, there's plenty of pizza over there. Oh, great. I'm starved. What kind is it? <laughs> and, and her reaction so was so real. It's just so dumb watching it. It's just and it's dumb. Like, but, I, did, I must have done something like that. I don't remember. Oh, I've been to... Uh, I've you know I've been to parties when we were around that age where drinking games were were happening. We did the drinking, Columbia dances. Columbia dances and drinking games always end up fucked up because mm -hmm. you're, you're doing too many shots yeah it's drinking games are to get people messed up and acting stupid yeah that's the point it's that's the it, point it was a very amateur night party amateur yeah. college night no it was supposed to be a music classy hotel no music they're gonna go to no another music. party because it has music that was exciting right. for them yeah they probably um, got a radio with fm and am and am honey a transistor honey hey hey just heard about another party over at a motel in yorktown oh. and they've got music oh, oh. so how about it duty huh um, it sounds great, but, uh, it's after 9.30, and I promised Mrs. Garrett we'd be back by 10. Oh, come on. I'll get to dance with my little sister, huh? Oh, okay, another time. Right, it starts to wrap up a little bit. It finally, they, the, some of the other guys go to a different party, and then the brother's like, hey, we're going to go to a different party, but let's drive 
you guys home. Now at this point, Marshall is wasted. Like he's clearly wasted. And uh, 2D, not 2D, but um, uh, Natalie and Blair and Blair and Nat are like, hey, your brother's fucked. We can't get into a car with him. And Give Natalie, me the keys. And, Give and me keys. 2D is like, no, my brother's the best. He's doing okay. She's making excuses. She knows in her heart of hearts that this guy's fucked up, but she has so much love for him that she's like trying to convince the girls to get in the car with him. Yeah. Mind you, Blair's fucking rich. Yeah. Like, let's call a cab, please. Well, they, and we don't even have to offend the brother either. We're like, oh, honey, just go to your party. And, you know, we're just going to get in tried, this cab over here. They tried to dip out, and Tootie guilted them. Go ahead and ruin Marshall's visit for me. You guys are supposed to be my friends. Tootie, that's not fair. Marshall's been drinking. He's drunk. Nat, you don't know what you're talking about. My brother knows when he's okay to drive. And, and Joe, and was, Joe was smart. Them. Honey, Joe went off she, home on her bike. She was like, bah! But she's the only one that has her own ride. Right. But, you know, yeah. But so Blair and Natalie give it And also, I think, I think she could tell that the party was fucking lame and she dipped out early. Yeah. Look at the expression she's making at them when they were playing their kamikaze. She's like, y'all bitches are dumb. And they're tired, yeah. cold pizza. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I'm Dave? from the Bronx, bitch. Don't get it twisted. So Tootie, y'all ain't got a crack, crack pipe, then don't even try it. I mean, don't even try it. Yes. Joe was on the phone talking to one of Marshall's friends, saying like, "Yo, where are they? What's happening?" Mrs. Garrett's like, "Where are they? What's happening?" Joe was like, "They just left." Well, in comes Blair, and Joe was like, "Y'all got into some kind of crash." Tootie comes in. Natalie comes in. They're all shaken. Were they a little disheveled? They're a little disheveled, and Joe was like, "Mrs. Garrett, would you be a good um?" Slave and go make oh. hot chocolate for us. <laughs> yeah. But this is the thing. They said if we get in this car, this guy could have an accident. And they got and she she peer pressures her best friends to get in this car. And he does have an accident because he's so fucked. And I have to, I I'm I'm gonna leave names out of this because I don't want to get that person in trouble. But many, many, many years ago, many, many years ago, we were leaving the club and a and a friend of us drove us got us a ride home. And when I got into the car, the driver was so drunk off his ass. I was like, no, I'm, I'm getting out of this. And he was like, no, 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 no. Don't embarrass me. And I stayed in that car and let this guy drive us home. And he was so drunk that he was swerving on the road. And it was really like, it was, he was really truly wasted. I'm surprised the cops didn't stop us. I was horrified the entire way home. And I remember getting out of the car and thinking to myself, you know what? I'm never going to let someone peer pressure me into doing something fucking stupid like that ever again. Because if he had had an accident and killed us, it, I got into the car of my own free volition. Right. So that shit like that really does happen. Like you're like you do sometimes you don't want to embarrass your friend. You can see he's a little bit too drunk or maybe he's a friend of a friend and you get in that car, bitch, high off my ass. I would get on the subway and, and get my ass home with a prolapse. With Kudos prolapse wrecking the subway. On the subway <laughs> three in the morning, but I yeah. would not get into the car with a fucking drunk driver. Good or, for you. Or somebody who had been imbibing drugs either well oh, i might do that <laughs> uh, can i tell y'all something real quick i'll make it yeah. real quick yeah yeah, yeah. so i would I, I i don't know if i should mention the name but i, I may de depending on how i feel within right. the next three minutes so i was dating this model when i was living in miami nice. South. this was in the mid no, no the late 90s and um he was really cute and young much younger than me and he had he was Imbibbing in products of the dry nature. Let's yeah. put it that way. Anyway, he said, I have a ride coming to take me to the airport. Do you want to come? Because then he could drive you back so we can, you know, I could, you know, hang out some more with the child for the little amount of time he was there. I was like, all right. The child that comes to pick us up is, uh, if, you, if you can't make, say his name for legal purposes, then you can bleep it out. Desperado. Oh, goodness. Who the from, hell is that? From the actor, the beautiful the actor from sitting in a whole money column. Right hand man. Really beautiful. Right. He was a beautiful young man. Was he still handsome? lovely? Well, he was kind of lovely still, but he had track marks all up and down his arm and his uh, hand. Wow. Okay. We're gonna have to bleep this now. Go ahead. <laughs> Continue. 
Okay. Anyhow, um, he drove us and he was not on planet Earth. And we went, and the, the child that I was dating is laughing because it's a convertible. Yeah. So, you know, the wind is blowing and it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But needless to say, I was like, you know, I, I'm not Catholic and I'm not even Christian, but I was doing so many crosses on me and praying that we would get to the airport on time. And I wasn't on even on Earth neither, but I was on closer to Earth than, than the driver was. Needless yeah. to say, I learned my lesson. Stay yes. at home if you're going to do that kind of shit. Stay at home. Don't leave the fucking house if you're high. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think that's the, the <laughs> message. I think I lost the message. You know what? That is a takeaway from that story. For real. <laughs> that is For definitely real. Don't be a mess a out in the street. Yeah. Don't be a mess out in the street. Yeah. Don't I be mean, a mess out in the street. And I be make it a habit sober if at all possible. If I'm like Tootie's like brother. Home. Like Tootie's brother. For real. Um, yes. So, Marshall... Drunk ass Marshall swerves <laughs> off the road and hit a tree, comes in with a bandaid on his forehead. Mrs. Garrett has her tray of hot chocolate and she says to Marshall, I would like some hot chocolate if you know what I'm saying. And he <laughs> says, he says, Mrs. Garrett, I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. You better sure. take that bedraggled ass red wig and keep on back into the kitchen. Oh, no, that's not what happened. Go ahead, girl. Mrs. Garrett, last night I saw you just lift one leg out of the car and pee straight from the back seat. <laughs> George Clooney told Don't me. Don't blame me. It was George Clooney that told me. Honey, we'll replace your ass with Clarice Leachman, girl. That's right. True story. Honey. Get into it. Look, you Get into look it. Google yes. It, yes. Yes. Good Google times. It. Good times. So Marshall dibbles away after telling Tootie, I'm going to go straight back to the motel. The girls right. take their hot cocoa and go upstairs. And Joe makes sure that Blair gives back her blanket to cover her broccoli. Just and watch as the episode. He, is, he does not go back to the hotel. He goes to yet <laughs> another party as drunk as he was. And then in the morning, Tootie takes what? the bus. We forget to that home. Mrs. Garrett's speech to Tootie. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. She's this like, is the moral of the episode. Now you whore, sit down. I want to talk to you. What? Shut up, you junkie whore. She says, Tootie, look here. I know that your brother liked the old E, and that's cute. Because once in a while, I like me some Hennessy. But what I'm trying to say is I was married to a drinker and it ain't cute. And I could spot a liar. So you yes. need to get it together because that is your daddy station wagon. And if it gets fucked up, girl's going to be your ass. <laughs> We're paraphrasing, but it was kind of like that. It wow. Was. You should be the translator for um, what's that? That kind of talk. Uh, God, 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 God. 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 Well, it's like from an airplane. It's that white actor. Yeah, like, I speak jive. I speak jive. I speak jive. But Mrs. Garrett does give her talking to her like, girl, that your brother was drunk, honey. Don't try to she play. She learned it. her stuff. Don't try to play it. Whoa! Oh, somebody! Oh, he God. needs some milk. Because she's like still trying to make excuses for him, and it's yeah, like it's really kind of crazy. Beer. And Miss, Mrs. Garrett caught it all. She was instantly. No, instantly, she saw the bump in the head. How everybody was reacting. She smelled his breath. Well, you know, the roads, they're really slippery. And and there should be a warning that that- Marshall was drinking, wasn't he? No. Okay, so he had a few beers. But he wasn't drunk, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, Judy, please. I saw Marshall. I know that look. You know. Hello. So then Tootie goes to the motel, basically, to give her brother what for? The next morning. The next morning, and I, to be honest, I watched the episode twice, and after Mrs. Garrett's speech, I just didn't watch the rest of it again. But I know that they're in a motel and they're talking. She goes back to the hotel room, and basically she says, look, you fucked up. You got me and my friends, and I'm paraphrasing here, you got me and, me and my friends into danger. You said you were going to go to sleep. You went to another party. I think you have a drinking problem, and you're driving our father's car. So you got to call mom and dad and yeah. tell them that you totaled the car last night. And he's like, yeah. absolutely not. And she's like, you do it or I'll do it. Yeah. And she's like, no. And he grabs his bag and he's about to go on his ski weekend. And she gets on the phone and she calls her dad and he's standing in the doorway, kind of like looking at her like, what are you doing? No, and you're not. Like, she's about to call the dad. And then he takes the phone from her. And I swear to God, I thought he was just going to <laughs> beat her. <laughs> On her oh, here's fucking bowl cut because that's the real story. Would have been, would have been like, yeah. bitch, you need Mix to calm down. Sweater. No, honey. Yeah. <laughs> snitches get bed. stitches. 
Yeah. <laughs> but instead, he fesses up to the dad, which is, of course, the right thing to do. And the moral of the story is um, don't drink and fucking drive, kids. And yeah. that really is toy. true to yeah. this day. And the last shot of the episode is literally a shot of on the bed, crumpled up on a blanket, Mona the drag queen. Hungover. <laughs> Hungover. Honey, a li- like a, like a dildo half in, half out of that loose, sad butthole. Oh my God. And then, one- and then when she gets out of the dip, she starts singing, I'm so hungover. I'm so hungover. <laughs> there was one line earlier where Tootie was like, I guess Marshall had gotten in trouble with the parents and Tootie, I thought she was going to say, you know, because dad would get the strap on and I'd start crying. Remember when dad caught you drinking beer and you were 15 and he got the strap out and I started crying. And what <laughs> she, but what she said was dad would get the strap out. Yeah. Right. I thought Lord said, knows when dad would get the strap on. I'd start crying. I'd start crying. But also their parents beat them. So that's Let's Party, a fucking shit episode shit of Facts episode Alive. Shit episode of Facts. And listen, classic sitcom, but, yes. but, sh- but yeah. shitty episode. But as in every episode, Lisa Welchel, she's really she's a great actress and she's really funny. Her timing so is always on point. Her comedic And she almost had a dick. An interesting what? thing that, you know, Miss Lisa. I'm sorry, what? She, she almost had a dick. <laughs> she almost had a dick. <laughs> she almost, almost had uh, the dick. The boy, the child oh. that was so cute. <laughs> was like, what? like she like grew one in that. In, Is like, there something where, we don't know? Did she, did oh she yeah, grow she, one was in gonna, the she was going to hook up with Mona the drag queen till she yeah. who had Mona coins. The drag- who had coins, the interesting but was, thing about Miss Blair Welchel is she, I think she's Church of Latter-day Saints or Mormon oh. or something like that. But she, um, it was nothing like Blair. Like she's, she's really nothing she's not like that character. Yeah. Oh, evangelical, yes. Uh, she's yeah. super religious. She's evangelical. But Whatever, she said girl. that like she put Blair on like a blanket. She said Blair just I, fit. And she did it well. Her, her, her comedic so timing well. is so good. Well, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> That is Let's Party from Facts of Life, and we would invite you to leave comments, please. What episodes do you want covered? We're going to go back to Charlie's Angels and then dip back into Facts of Life, and we're going to, assuming everyone has their microphones, I we're going to, we're going to, you know, do a little, a little back and forth. So yeah. that was, that was uh, just the facts. Um, <laughs> you think it's good? But that one was bad. That one's bad, and we'll leave a link in the description to that particular episode, which is viewable on Tubi. And also links to our socials and our Patreon and our merch shop and all kinds of crazy shit like Please that. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and also, it's Tubi and Roku. You can watch Facts of Life and um, Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels on Tubi yes. and Roku. So make sure you do that and follow us on Insta and comment and let us know what you would like us to talk about. Signing off for So Auntie Ways, this is Sha Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. And this is Booby. Auntie Ways. 